watching Good Day Marketplace on Fox 28. Well, I know many of you out there wish you had some help when it comes to tightening and lifting that skin. Well, you know, the skin does tend to, unfortunately, go in the direction with gravity. And today, though, good stuff. Your wish is being granted. Adrian Yannick is here, the aesthetic care coordinator for Donaldson Plastic Surgery. And we're going to talk about this method called microneedling. Yes, absolutely. Okay, people hear the word needles. They may be a little concerned. And they get concerned, absolutely. Microneedling is a method of introducing microchannels into the surface of the skin. And in doing that, we're going to release growth factors. Um, collagen production and elastin production. When you say opening channels, what does that mean? We use a device similar to this. Okay. And it has several fine points on the end of it. It pulses and puts little tiny pinpricks into the skin. And does it hurt? It does not hurt. It doesn't hurt. Prior to treatment, we numb your skin with oh. an ointment. Okay. We allow it to sit for several minutes. Okay. Then we remove it and we continue with the treatment. Now people might be listening going, okay, so you're gonna put all these little needles on my skin. Is there going to be blood? What does it look like afterward? There could be some pinpoint bleeding, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay. When we've reached that layer, we know that we're reaching maximal collagen induction. Afterwards, it's gonna be a little pink, a little red. It could look like a mild sunburn. That lasts for about 24 to 48 hours. It looks like it's a procedure that you're using for people with acne scars. Absolutely. It can uh -huh. be used for acne scarring, stretch marks, fine lines and wrinkles, pigmentation issues, and overall skin texture. Oh my gosh, all those things. Order me one. <laughs> so let's talk about things like stretch marks. How would it affect a stretch mark? What we're going to do is we're going to break up some of the fibers that are creating that stretched look huh. and allow that skin to remodel itself. Is there a person who's not a good candidate for this? That's the best thing about microneedling is everyone is a candidate. Really? It's so even if you have older skin, maybe you don't have the same elasticity, it's okay? Perfectly okay. Huh. It doesn't matter skin texture to begin with. It does not matter ethnicity. It does not matter any injury that has happened to the skin before. Microneedling is a good way to rejuvenate that skin. If I heard this correctly, I think it was Brad Pitt who did this and he he always was bothered by pock marks absolutely yes and so that can help that situation yes acne scarring is very greatly affected by microneedling and we see that as a pretty common patient huh how many times do you have to go through the procedure you'll see results after the first treatment we usually recommend a series of three depending on the issue we're working on sometimes you may need as many as six they're spaced about four to six weeks apart but you really are able to control what your treatment is. Could you do it and go right back to work? You could. You'll have a, a little pink tone to a your face. A little pink tone, okay. But so within the next day, you should be able to apply mineral makeup. So maybe just take one day off. Correct. You don't have to twist my arm, <laughs> that's for sure. Right. Well, thank you so much. And if you would like to schedule that, certainly you want to get a hold of Donaldson Plastic Surgery for that, and Adrian would be happy to set you up. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you again. Yeah. All right.